I will just here offset the top plane to be, to be roughly in the mid uh, area of the, of the of the part, and then I will continue to define different areas like here the axis. To do that, I will just extract this circle, and from the center of the circle, I will define the axis perpendicular to the plane we built before. So here, the feature creation is almost done, and now we can create the axis from that center point and perpendicular to the plane. Now this is done, we will need to uh, maybe lock the rotation of the parts, uh, the last rotation. So in order to do that, we will create a sketch in the middle of the part and using one of the blade, we will create a line that defines uh, the locking rotation, the, the lock around Z. So here we will just need to create the center circle. from the part, and then we will create a line going through the center of the circle to the edge of one blade, and the blade usually that we are going to use for defining the, the one of the blade to create the path. After that, we can easily align the part using all the features we have created. So we will just define here the origin of the part by selecting the plane and the axis we defined. As you can see, all the translations are locked because they are grayed out. Then we are going to define the Z uh, orientation and the X by the line we defined as a sketch. Now, we can get rid of all the features we built because everything is already inside the session with the standard planes X, Y, Z, and all the axes. 